Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I had my phone on wrong. So when I switched to stamp, it was going to be really wrong. Oh, I really apologize. And now there's nobody here. <laughs> I'm sure. <coughs> Oops. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I just, oh, they, <laughs> there's people again. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm a little rusty. I'm still not at a hundred percent. Can you tell? Oh my gosh. So I, I had put my phone on backwards and it really wasn't that big of a deal, except it, it will, long story short. Oh my gosh. I made it. Oh. <sighs> um, yes. H hello, everybody. Hi, Pam. Hi, Monica. I am feeling better. I, uh, as I was saying before, I ha I'm sorry. I've been sick almost the whole month of February, to be honest. I would get better for a couple days and then I would just get way worse. And, um, then I finally broke down and went to the doctor because I, you know, assumed I was just sick like everybody was sick. And, um, yeah, I had pneumonia. Oops. Oh, and my husband was in Germany and India last week, so I was by myself. Um, the kids did not die, so that's pretty good. And um, I did not die, which was really quite impressive, to be completely honest. However, I am so absurdly behind, it's not even funny. Oh, dear Lord. Um, so... I hope you guys will be a little patient with me. Um, I'm going to try not to go for a super long time today just because I am not really fully back 100% yet. I, in fact, I really just kind of want to go take a nap right now. <laughs> Oops. Is that bad? I'm so sorry. But I have to tell you, so after my last uh, live, which was two weeks ago, <laughs> my, husband, um, my husband and I were... We're sitting in bed watching TV, and he all of a sudden gets on Facebook, and I hear my voice, which, you know, of course is weird. And um, <clears throat> he starts watching my Facebook Live from last time, which some of you may recall was the whole long Fifty Shades of Grey thing. <laughs> and it was kind of embarrassing to sit there and watch it with your husband, and he laughed, and he's like, you share a lot. <laughs> I know. He thought, he said, as he says to me all the time, that I am delightful, but oh my gosh, that was pretty funny. And I have to tell you, when I put my video on YouTube, so I post these videos on YouTube, and I did get 14 thumbs downs, which I'm pretty sure was due to my trashy <laughs> Facebook Live uh, Fifty Shades talk. What do you do? Um, so that was a little embarrassing. In fact, you know what? I'm going to take my antibiotic while I'm thinking of it. <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to do it off screen so you don't have to watch. Because I still have a few days left. <laughs> okay. So last week I did literally did absolutely nothing. I like camped out in my bed. Um, I... I did manage to feed my children some of the time, but actually they took care of me. My son is so sweet. He's 10 and he actually took really good care of me. <laughs> he even rubbed my back one night. <laughs> I thought it was sweet. And I had like, um, I had my, um, what do you call it? I, I'm, I'm trying to think of what you would call it. Like sick butt, like from sitting in your bed and being sick, your butt hurts, that kind of butt. Anyway. <laughs> So, hello everybody. I'm so glad to be here and I'm glad to be getting back in the groove. Now, for those of you who have, um, well, I'll be honest, I have not mailed anything in forever. So, um, I'm really sorry about that. I am, I am assembling my dream team of helpers to help get me back on track this week. That includes the online classes I have not shot videos for and mailed packages for. We are going to get busy this week, so please be patient with me. I'm hoping to be completely caught up by the end of next week, if I can. So I'm really, really sorry about being behind, but what do you do? I mean, I was just so sick. So, But I'm done talking about being sick because I'm getting better, and I'm going to be better. Um, <laughs> anyway, I think um, 
when my husband was watching this and I keep looking at my face facial expressions I have an expressive face I don't usually um, hide my emotions very well you can tell exactly how I feel um, but I'm laughing because my eyes just like do crazy stuff <laughs> Anyway, I don't know. You come for the entertainment, right? I mean, right? <laughs> <coughs> so anyway, Sue, hi, Sue. Sorry, I, I had trouble with the last uh, video. But I have to show you, since Sue is on here, Sue lives in London, and as you well know, I love London. She sent me this card. Isn't it awesome? That's London stuff in the background. That's St. Paul's Cathedral, the London Eye. There's a crown, because, you know, they've got a queen there. And um, what else can I make out? I'm sure Parliament is on here. I think this is Big Ben right there. Isn't this so awesome? Sue's the best. She sent me this super, super duper nice card, and I was so excited about it, except that little stinker, she did not put her return address on it. But you know what? I think she's bought online classes for me. I can get it. Because <laughs> I want to send her a return thank you card. Um, I also... Oh, dang it. It's upstairs. Um... Lois, who's one of my customers, she sent me the most unbelievable gift box. In fact, it made me cry when I got it. It was so sweet. It had, she, like, I think she knit. I'm not sure. Actually, will you do me a gigantic favor, Emily? Yeah. <laughs> will you go up on the, my kitchen counter? There's a little box, and it has two scarves in it. Yeah. Will you grab that box? Yeah. So she sent me just such sweet things. Oh, my gosh. It was so nice. And then um, Linda sent me a Get Well card the other day, and it's I love it so much. I'm... Um, <laughs> I'm going to case it. Um, so thank you so much for all the well wishes. I really appreciate it. It's so sweet of you. It's so nice to know that um, when your husband's in India, in another continent, someone can <laughs> take care of me. <coughs> Sorry. It really is. It was really nice to hear so many people say, take good care of yourself and all that. Because you know, as a mom and a business owner, you kind of think of yourself about last. So anyway, all right. Um, thank you. So Emily brought my box that you have to see this box. Now I'm telling you, I, I just could, you know, I send a lot of stuff out, out to people every week. Um, and I just was so amazed that I got this in the mail cause it was so sweet. So I'm trying to think if this is, I think this is crocheted, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. So I got this shawl, or this scarf. Oh, cute. Yes. And she also did it in my signature aqua color. Look, it matches oh, my stamp room. Isn't that pretty? This is so pretty. She sent me two, and she said, well, I wasn't sure which color you wanted, and you could share one with your daughter. Oh, I know. And then, um, and then a pretty sparkly card. Aw. So sweet. And a journal which is super cute. Oh, nice. It's a, like a planner journal. <laughs> I wonder if she's trying to say something. <laughs> Could be. We'll put it to good use. Don't worry. And then this is actually the thing that I'm probably the most excited about. Although I'm so touched that she would make two scarves for me. Cause that's like amazing. I know that takes time, but she sent me this little eraser. It's a sand eraser. And, um, here, can you see that? Oh, it's probably backwards. Dang it. I'll show it to you when I flip my camera. It's a mono sand eraser from Tombow, a 512A, whatever that means. But I think I have something we can test it on today. It won't take long. Um, it's a little eraser. And so like if you make a little um, mistake on your, on your card with ink, you can erase it with the sand and it will help erase it off your card stock. Wow. Yeah. So I'm really excited about that. I can't wait to try it out. And I'm just going to have it right here in a handy spot so that we can try it later. So anyway, that, um, <clears throat> like I said, I just had to share that Lois sent me this. I, I get things actually once in a while from people and I, I don't, I don't know why, but I'm so... I'm so like amazed and touched that people would do that for me. I don't know why. I mean, obviously I'm pretty awesome. <laughs> you are. I try to share my awesomeness as much as I can, but oh my gosh, it just was really sweet. So anyway, okay. Enough rambling. Did you know I tend to ramble a lot? It's true. Okay.
there. Got, took care of that. <laughs> I'm also, <laughs> because nothing would be more appropriate than me tr starting a huge project in the midst of being sick. Um, I got, um, <laughs> I got a little home improvement project going on in my classroom. I'm trying to redo a bunch of stuff. And so I bought a bunch of stuff from Ikea. So last time we met, my mom was here. And the next day I brought her back to Minneapolis, which is about three and a half hours. And there's an Ikea there. Okay. Ikea people. <laughs> so, um, I was not feeling well, but yet I did manage to shop. That's probably part of why I got so sick because I drove to Minneapolis and back in the same day and I shopped at Ikea in the middle. I did have lunch with my sister though, so that was nice. Anyway, um, the cool thing is that uh, I started this really cool project to get myself organized and I've been cleaning out stuff. I've gotten rid of a whole bunch of stuff because Dina's been collecting things for about 20 years. She needs to calm down. Anyway, um, so of course I got sick in the middle of all that, and um, you should see the disaster I have out in my classroom. It is not pretty. But my dream team is coming to help me solve all these problems. But it makes us more organized, because already I'm more organized. Emily's impressed. I, I, think Emily's, I think Emily really does me a great service by coming back every time, because I know Emily's way, way more organized than I am. And her life is just a teensy bit less chaotic I think she has two more kids than I have too she's double the children oh my gosh okay and I have more dogs than you. anyway <laughs> and double the dogs double kids double dogs and a she's crazy oh I have one of those <laughs> all right so today today we're going to do um we're going to do some stamping obviously I, you know, I actually, if I didn't feel so awful, I really was so suffering from stamping withdrawal. That's the longest I've gone without stamping in a long time, and it was hard. Okay, um, but I have, so here's what we have on tap for today. I have some projects to share from the new celebration flyer that started last week while I was dying in my bed. I have some, um, well, I have a drawing. We have, we have drawings to do from last time. Uh, um, what else do I have? Oh, and I have a drawing for this week too. Now, how do you get entered in the drawing? Three ways, people. Three. So you're going to comment in the feed here somewhere. You can also order, and I'm going to flash a hostess code for you in just a little bit. Or you can share, well, and, sorry, those are all ands. I don't know what I was thinking. And you can share this video on Facebook when we're done. So you just share. And then all of your awesome friends can check it out too. Because, I mean, who does not want to be part of the awesomeness? I can't think of anyone. Um, so, I'm sorry, I'm just looking. I'm starting to, I'm looking for my other face, my celebration flyer. Darn it. You know the new one? Yeah. Can you grab me one? Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sorry to keep no, you're fine. making you do stuff. <laughs> she totally helps me out. I'd be a big, big, big mess if it weren't for Emily. Okay. So as you well know, celebration is going on. It continues through the end of March. But this last week, we unveiled three new products added to them. Hi, Emily. It's the other Emily. <laughs> I have an, okay, so you guys, I don't know if you caught this. Emily Simons, with an S, is my assistant. She lives down the street from me. Emily Simon, with no S, lives nearby, like the town next over, and they have almost the same name. Isn't that crazy? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> All right, celebration. Here is the new flyer. It has three glorious new things. There is a stamp set called Reverse Words. Oh, we're going to use it. There is six by six glimmer paper, glimmer paper. People look at this. It comes in Bermuda Bay, which is like almost the best color ever invented by Stampin' Up. Does anybody know what the best color is? I wonder, this is a tease, I've, or not a tease, a teaser. Whoa, that means two different things. Um, <laughs> I mentioned it in one of my videos before. Okay, Bermuda Bay, mint macaron and sweet sugar plum. So this glimmer paper is gorgeous. In fact, do you want to see it in real life? Because this is the picture. And in real... 
Wait. <laughs> I know I did just have them. Oh my God. Seriously, how does this happen? I did just have them. Mm -hmm. Honest to goodness. How? Are they oh, the I think I see it. Hold on. Yes. <clears throat> Phew. Oh my gosh, that was scary for a second. I thought I lost my glimmer paper. Okay. Glimmer paper. Look at the shimmer. Doesn't it just make you happy? Yes, it was Caribbean something. Casey, good job. Cool Caribbean. It's a color. It was one of the first in colors, I believe. And it's long since retired, but I like it. Pool Party is a close second, but cool, but cool Caribbean was just a little better. I also really enjoyed um, Calypso. No, Calypso, not Calypso Coral. Uh, what's the... Starts with a C, 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 C. Oh my gosh, my brain is completely turned off. Oh. Coastal Cabana! That was a good color too. Wow. Okay, the third set is this one. It's called Make a Medallion. And this is a really sad state of affairs because this set is a complete virgin. We're talking, it's not even been peeled off the sheet yet. I hope to rectify that while I'm with you here today. So that's very sad. But these three things are going to be available uh, for the rest of Celebration. The Glimmer Paper is um, probably a while supplies last, and I guarantee you that that is going to sell out because everybody's losing their minds over the Glimmer Paper. So, and rightly, rightfully so, because it's gorgeous. So anyway, um, like I said, these are all during the month of February and March. So take advantage. Um, and that, of course, we still have the things that are in the main celebration catalog. So again, just a quick review. If you join Stampin' Up! as a demonstrator in my group, you'll get two free stamp sets of your choice. If you host a workshop that's over $250, you'll get an extra $25 in free merchandise. And if you spend $50 or multiples of $50, you can choose anything out of here or the one I just showed you for free. It's amazing. Awesome. Fabulous. Okay. And there's the chick set, which is so flippin' cute it's not even funny. All right. I think we should stop. What time is it? I didn't put my watch on. 21 after! Oh my gosh. We need to start stamping. This is ridiculous. Um, I literally could probably talk all day, but nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Hi, Alex and Alex. <laughs> um, Alex, Alexandra Matea. Do you go by Alex or Alex? Alexandra. I don't, I always worry about that. And same with Alex Shelberg. I think you will go by Alex, but I never want to say the wrong thing because... I don't know. That's a pet peeve of mine. But are you guys ready? Should we? Let's flip the camera and get busy. <laughs> you did not miss any stamping because as I'm incapable of not tacking for a long period of time. Okay. So, first of all, yay, I'm so... Oh, <laughs> dang it. I found my flyer that I was looking for before. Okay. So, I have um, a free... Thank you, Alex. Now I know. You prefer Alexandra. Okay. That's good to know. I'm Now I can keep you two apart, Alex and Alexandra. I don't know. I love the name, though. It's so fancy. My name has always been boring, Dina. I mean... Oh, I love yours. That's nice, but... <laughs> I don't Everybody know. has my name. And really? Not... I don't know. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I wanted to be a Jennifer. I just thought, if I was a Jennifer, my whole world would be set. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> like, how dumb is that? I mean, not that that's... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm only going to stick my foot in my mouth. So I'll just go back. Let's stamp. Okay. Okay. I have a host code. Um, you'll get a free gift from me. If you use this host code, you have until, I think this is Friday. Um, because you have till Friday. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to do, but it's such a great time to get these super awesome things. All right. Now I have to, sh I have to, um, I have to tell you, Emily giggles all the time, by the way, Alex. She is a giggler. In fact, it cracks me up. I like to think that I'm the source of much of her giggles, but I think a lot of the source of her giggles are my ineptitudes, but that's another story. All right, so I was messing around 
yesterday because I thought, ooh, I have a Facebook Live today. I should probably get stamping. Um, and I was trying to figure out what to do. So I pulled out my reverse words stamp set because I had not used any of these stamps until yesterday. And that is kind of a sacrilege in my world to have stamps and not have used them yet. So long story short, um, I stamped these. I just wanted to stamp them. And I kind of got in this cute little color rut, as you can see. Well, I shouldn't say color rut, but... Um, only babies in diaper commercials were named Jennifer? That's crazy, Jennifer. I seriously... You know, I like Jennifer because it could be Jenny or Jennifer. I could be either one. You know, so if I was fancy, it was Jennifer. And if I was not fancy, it was Jenny. I don't know. Or if I was famous, it could be J-Lo. But whatever. We'll stick with Dina. And by the way, there is never, ever anything in a keychain or personalized. And as a kid, that is really hard. There was never keychains that said Dina. And if they did, they spelled it wrong. Okay. Let's put these together. So I made, I just stamped these. The colors I have here are, this is Peekaboo Peach. And then I have, um, Hooray, or <laughs> that's what it says. That's not what color it is. This is Pink Pirouette. You have to bear with me. I still am cloudy. Oh my goodness. Um, and then this is Flirty Flamingo. So I stamped all these images. Now I have to tell you, um, where did my stamp set go? Here it is. So if you look at the stamp set, you can see there's this cool watercolory texture on here. And mine did not have um, that cute texture as you can kind of see. Like, do you see that? There's no texture on there. So I was really disappointed because I thought, oh, that would be so cool. But I called Stampin' Up and they're sending me a new one. They'll fix it for you. That's what I like about Stampin' Up. They take good care of us. Okay, so what I am going to do is just make this cute little set of three cards. Now, what I think is really fun about this is um, it's so easy because as you, all I did was stamp on here. But here's what the fun part is how to embellish. I really like embellishing stuff. And I think that's where you can take your card and make it, you know, okay into fabulous or like nice into amazing or um Oh, she's kind of crafty too. Wow, you're an artiste. Okay, I might be getting carried away, but I think you get my point. So I put these, put dimensionals on these. And um, then what I'm going to do is put them on my card. So I just have a white card base. And it would not be a Facebook Live video if Dina didn't get her work surface messy. So let's get moving. In fact, I really need to clean, clear, redo my paper background um because you can see i have stains by the way i get asked this approximately a million times a week um what the background paper is on my stamping surface and um the answer is it's bulletin board paper from hobby lobby i wish there was a way i could like post that someplace so that the entire world would know that question's answer because <laughs> people ask me that all the time Okay, so here are my three cards. Aren't they cute? And isn't this just a fun, happy color combination? Because I don't know about you, but we've had like um, weather diarrhea here in Iowa. It has been in the last one week. In fact, not even in the last like five days. It's been 70 degrees. Um, felt like seven degrees the other morning. It has snowed. It has rained. It has thundered. It has lightened. And it has sleep freezing rained iced. <laughs> All of that has happened in about the last four or five days since Thursday. It's really crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now let's embellish, shall we? All right, I think one of the best things about embellishing is that you can use your punches and you can often use them in fun and different ways. Um, I am thinking of a couple of things here and this is the portion of the programming where Dina does stamp riffing because you know she likes to do that where she just does ooh, whatever comes to mind on the fly and this is sometimes where my best work comes from I'm not gonna lie people all right so um is, it, is that oh and never mind 
got some here. Sorry, I'm out of... I'm grabbing something. Okay, so the first thought that I had for this immediately was we could punch some cute little flowers and attach them. So I just need to find my scrap of white. Okay, so I'm going to use my tree builder punch because you know I love tree builder. This stupid little flower is just like the cutest dang thing ever and I use it all the time. Now one of the things I always like doing and if you've watched basically even one of my videos you know I like to do dimensional stuff. So I'm going to take this is my um, piercing mat and I'm going to take I'm trying to find a tool. If you can't find a tool, just make one up. I'll show you what I mean by that. Oh, darn it. No. So I'm just, this is actually a pen. <laughs> so what I want to do is just push on the center of this so that it's dimensional. And I usually use my, well, actually I could use my um, scoring whatever the stylus. Oh my gosh, words are so hard. Speaking of verbal diarrhea. Ugh. Okay. So I, I, um, made these kind of dimensional and then I'm going to just add three cause everything is good. Um, everything is good in odd numbers. Alexandra, you want a tree <laughs> with a tree builder punch? That's a pretty, lofty request. I mean, I don't know. Of course I will do a tree just for you. Actually, I'm going to, well, I'll show you what I'm going to do, but hold on. Okay. <laughs> so here is my card. Is that in focus? Is that better? Okay. And then we can either add pearls or rhinestones. I'm thinking today is kind of a rhinestone kind of day. So I hope you will like that. Um, but these are just a super sweet, easy little touch. Now you could totally do this in color, the same color cardstock or even the colors we're using if you didn't want to do white. But I just thought white would be kind of cute and simple and easy. Or vellum, that would be pretty too. Okay, so now I've got dimensional flowers with bling. Everybody's happy. Could that be an easier card? I don't think so. All right, so let's kick it up another notch. So let's take this one and I pulled out some coordinating ribbon. This is technically Blushing Bride, but I don't think anybody is going to hold this up to your card and say that does not match. So we're going to slide this ribbon on. And that's the other beauty of t putting stuff on with dimensionals is you can come back and add stuff to it after the fact like I like to do here. <laughs> okay. Casey, I love the colors. When I first saw the peach, it came out. I wasn't sure. Oh, I love the peach. I love, 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 love the peach. Love it. Um, I'm with you, though, because sometimes it's not the right color. I remember years ago, if you guys have been around a while, you know, we had the color Groovy Guava, and it was kind of a peachy, orangey, ugly color. I did not like it. It was not right. But it was... Um, it was an in color, so it didn't stay, and it was, I don't think anybody else liked it either. <laughs> so it, it did not last. But this is our satin ribbon. So there is a bow, so that's cute. And then we can add something else to it, like how about a sweet little, um, whatever you call that, butterfly. And I'm sorry, I'm reaching behind me to grab some printed paper. That matches if I can find it. Ah Here we go. Oh, of course. Sorry. I can never find anything when I need it right away. Oh, for heaven's sakes. It's right here. I don't think this is not the right color, but it's okay. I'm going to use it anyway. So I'm just going to take some printed paper and punch this. 
and then put, place it right on here with a dimensional, no, not a dimensional, a glue dot, sorry. I was kidding. Thank you, my hand is a lot better. Okay, so there's that, and I think we need a little something on there too. How about a bigger rhinestone? We'll just stick that in the center. Boom, a pearl might have been pretty too. Okay, so there's that, super cute, super simple. Okay, now cheers. I think we need to do something special with this one. So what if we took our, well, let's see. What if we took our balloon punch and, ooh, ooh, I like this. I like where I'm going with this, even though you guys think I'm crazy. It's okay. So I have some envelope paper, and actually somebody had asked, um, I think Janine had asked if I could do uh, an envelope demonstration, which I will do here in just a bit. But what if I punch two of these in that envelope paper with my balloon builder punch and add these to my card like so. Popped up, of course. I mean, otherwise that would be crazy. Oops. Don't you hate it when you try to take one dimensional and you get like 18? Okay. And then we could put this on here like this and like, oops, it helps if you take the backing off though. And like this. So these are just super cute, easy ways to do this. And then if I wanted to, I could draw in here. Now here's my tip for drawing on here. So I could do black, but black is really dark for this particular card. And so I would like to tone it down a little. And so I'm going to use gray instead. So I'm just going to draw a little line like it's going behind like that. So there are my balloon marks. Now, are you ready? Because I think we could kick this up one more notch. What if, what if we did a little extra punching? Hold on one second. I got to grab a scrap of something. Because as usual, I can't find anything. Ah, here we go. Alright, I, sorry, I had to go look for a scrap of Dazzling Diamonds. So, Dazzling Diamonds. Only because I don't have glimmer paper that matches this, but we'll get there. So what if we took and punched a couple of these cute little thingies and then adhered them on to our project? Because that would be cute. Hi, Diane. Okay, so now I have some confetti pieces. That might be too big. Oh, well, that might be all right. That I'm just going to adhere on like so. What do you guys think of this? Do you like it? These are just kind of fun little confetti pieces. That's why I love this punch, because you can just kind of glue these little things on. And then you have confetti. Do you like this? Tell me now or forever hold your peace, sir. Whatever the saying is. <laughs> okay, I think we need... Oh, here, I wanted one more swirl on this side so it was a little more balanced. There, that's better, don't you think? Boom. Awesome. Okay, good. You guys seem to like them. That's nice. It's good to know. Sometimes you're not sure what people are thinking. That's the beauty of Facebook live is you can tell me if you think it sucks as I'm doing it so I can fix it. <laughs> but as you well know, I try not to ever make cards that suck. That's just my mantra. <laughs> I make cards that don't suck. <laughs> All right. So I'm just putting these on with a little bit of my mono glue. And 
I think I just have one more left. All right, now let us, since I got my paper out, let's make a couple of envelopes. Ooh, that didn't stick. Oh, come on. You love the confetti punch? It does make it cheerful, doesn't it? And just subtle. Like, you can see these aren't, like, crazy over the top. I think that's where sometimes we get in trouble, myself included, is you're like, oh, but I could do this and this and this. And um, I have, I know somebody who, who, let's just say she knows someone. I know someone who knows someone who sometimes they get a little aggressive in their embellishments. <laughs> uh, you have to be careful. It's a fine line to tread. But that's kind of cute. We could add some bows if we wanted, you know, like a little white string here. But I think this is good. So here are our three cards. And let's make a cute little envelope to put these in. So actually, this is a tip that came from Linda. So Linda Thomas, if you're watching, I have to show I have to share what you sent me. So she sent me this really pretty card that said, um, get well soon or, you know, whatever. Get well. Since, sorry you're dying <laughs> basically was the gist of it but um she put it in a clear envelope so let me show you what we're gonna do we're gonna use the envelope punch board and if you've never used this it's pretty easy um it comes with directions and there is one like key thing that I will show you about this but it's pretty easy so the thing is you want to figure out what size card you have so I have a four and a quarter by five and a half, which is also known in the stationary world as a, or wait, um, four and a quarter, an A2. I was like, five bar, that's wrong. Four and a quarter by five and a half. And that means I'm going to need to cut my paper to eight and a quarter square. And then I'm going to use the three and three quarter inch score line. So do you see how I'm ch picking all that information out? Is that clear? Can you see that? Okay, so... The card size that I want is an A2. That's the standard U.S. card size. And I know if you are watching from Europe, um, you have a different size, which I think is four and a half by six and a half, but I'm not positive. Um, and then it's going to tell me what size I need to cut my paper to, eight and a quarter by, or no, eight and an eighth. Pardon me, eight and one eighth. Read the chart, Dina. Then I'm going to use the three and three quarter inch score line. Okay, so let's cut our paper. So I'm going to use my my paper trimmer here, and I broke my paper trimmer. I don't know if I told you this. I, I probably, at this point in my stage, could afford a, another one, but I have not purchased it, which is kind of dumb. I should probably make that a priority. It's celebration. I want some free stuff. I want to get some more glimmer paper. So, oh, there we go, but I can still make it work. All right, so I'm going to cut this at eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. No, eighth and an eight and an eighth. Oh my gosh. This would definitely be one of those measure twice, cut once situations. Okay, so there is my first cut. Eight and one eighth. Maybe that's where I've gone wrong with this. I've always cut it at eight and a quarter because I kind of thought that's what it was. All right, so there we go. We've got our paper. So now this is, again, the envelope paper. It comes in, I think, two different assortments, one of which is the in colors. So we'll use that. It's really um, nice, thin paper, which is kind of fun. All right, so now let's take our um, punch board. So I'm going to pull the little scoring tool out of there. And it said, again, measure twice, cut once. Use the three and three quarter inch. So what I'm going to do is line up my paper on the three and three quarter inch mark. I'm going to punch and score. Okay. Now, from from here on out, I'm not going to use this line. I'm going to use the line I just scored. So you can see there's the score guide line that you're supposed to line it up with this pointy thing. So I'm going to do that. I've lined it up with my score line. I know it's a little hard to see on here, but here's my score line. And then I have it nicely lined up. I will punch and score again. And then I'll keep doing that by lining it up on the line I've scored. Now where I went wrong when I first got this, and actually I will never, I will never forget this because um, the board had just come out. I had people over at my house and I was like, here, I'll show you how to use it. I watched it. I saw them demonstrate it on 
um, at convention or leadership or wherever we were. <laughs> and I'm like, I totally know what I'm doing. Yeah, I totally messed it up because I kept using that same punch and score line for each one of the four sides. No, that's not how you do it. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is score on the lines I scored. And look at this. It's a pretty envelope. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And my beautiful coordinating card will fit right inside. So how is this for a happy, happy, happy day? All right, so what I will do to uh, adhere this is I, you can use your glue. I'm going to use my fast fuse. You can use whatever you like, except what I do with my fast fuse. I only have like three of them hitting, sitting here so that when I lose one, I can find it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a little bit on here. Um, oh, and then there's one other feature that you can do. I will show you since I already glued this. Okay, since there's one other um, feature on here, let me show you. I can take, and I could have done this to all the corners, but since I didn't remember it till just now, we're do, we'll do it to just the flap. So it's a little corner rounder, which is kind of handy that it's on there. Okay, so now I have a gorgeous coordinating envelope for my beautiful, wonderful, amazing card. Okay, you can round the corner by putting in, oh yeah, see, that's what I did. I forgot that part before I started getting adhesive involved, you know. Sometimes that makes things complicated. All right, so there's my card, and then I can seal it up and mail it. But there's, wait, there's more. So um, as I mentioned, Linda sent me this card using one of our clear envelopes. So this is a clear envelope. It comes in a package of 50, and this, you know what, I knew that was going to happen. This is a little big, so I'm going to fold it down. Um, but what you can do is it'll fit in here and then you can mail this. You can affix your address, like either write it in Sharpie or put a label on it with your stamp and mail it. And then you can see this pretty envelope, except it's protected. Isn't that kind of awesome? So I literally just got the card in the mail from Linda who did that the other day. So that was kind of awesome. Now you can see I did um, fold this over just a little further than what it it suggested in the board. And that is because otherwise it wouldn't have fit in this clear envelope. So um, it fits it fits either way. Your card will mail this way a little bigger or in here just fine. But I think it's kind of nice because let's be honest, the post office can manhandle your mail sometimes. So I think this is a nice way of getting things a little bit more uh, attractively uh, arriving at your destination. So there's that. Okay. So now I think we've covered those. Now I want to do um, today might just be a day of bling because I want to use that glimmer paper. We got to do something fun with it. Um, I'll show you another card in a minute that you could certainly use with the glimmer paper as an alternative idea. But now this glimmer paper is just so pretty and fun and cute and amazing. And um, what if, ooh, I just thought of something else. <laughs> that figures. That is what happens to people like me. Um, sorry, I'm grabbing a stamp set, which... Oh, what happened to it? Oh, I had it out. Let's see what happened. I don't know what... It's the Easter one with the basket and the cuteness. I just pulled it out because I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking of something else for it, but then when I saw the glimmer paper, I thought of this, and oh my gosh. Okay, this might have to wait because I don't know what happened to it, and I don't want you guys to have to sit and watch me look for something in my office because that's crazy. All right, um, that's what happens when you demonstrate on the fly. Okay, but what if we made something fun using the glimmer paper and punches. So I think, first of all, I pulled that balloon punch out and I, I have to tell you I'm kind of smitten. Let's try the balloon. Okay, so we're gonna punch. Ooh, has that ever happened to you? Okay, where this pops off, let me show you how to fix that. This is kind of an annoying thing. So, you know, we have these latches on our punches to keep them closed. So let me show you how this works. 
um, you're going to put your latch back on and I'm, I'm looking at another punch so I know. So you want this part, this part of the mechanism on the top. Okay. So the top, otherwise it won't catch. Now here's the trick. You got to push it in harder than you think, and you're not going to break it even though it totally seems like you are. Trust me, they're sturdy. So I just got that back in. Okay. And then it locks again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I usually have my husband fix them too, Deb. <laughs> um, I will tell you, if you put it in backwards, it is really hard to get out, but you can get it out, and that is definitely where your husband's maybe slightly stronger hands might come in handy. Actually, speaking of hands, can I show you? I have Ikea hand. Um, you know, these are bruises all over my hand. This is from smacking the shelving units that my kids helped me assemble before Andy got home. I figured he'd be much more um, willing to help me if I had most of it done before he got here. And so we kind of rallied. I will not lie. Uh, Ikea is a four letter word in my house. And um, there may or may not have been a time <laughs> where my daughter and I were laughing so hard we couldn't even pick up the shelf. But that's whatever. Okay. So there we go. I'm punching my balloons. I did all of them because you never know what you might want to do. But this is fun. Oh, and so let's take, I just thought of something because you know that's how I operate. <laughs> While I was looking for one of my other sets, I saw this set. Um, this is Everyday, Everyday Tags. Of course, the idea is that you use these on tags, but I think this is really sweet for our card. Now, if you have never seen me do this before, I, I like to trim my rubber out a little bit. You can see I do this at an angle so that the um, the base is, they sell a hammer at Ikea to use it at your hands. Well, that's great, Kayleen, but I was home already from Ikea. They don't mention the hammer when you're checking out. They probably should. Um, actually, my daughter is on the robotics team at school and they have um, oh, what do they call it? They have a, like a rubber mallet and they call it not the punisher, but like the, pers that's it. The persuader. <laughs> I need a persuader. You're right, Kayleen. That's funny. I don't know why that like, that should be like, would you like fries with that? Would you like a hammer with that? I mean, come on. Okay. Anyway, so I like to trim out my rubber like this. You can see I'm doing it at an angle and the angle, um, is you want the foam on the bottom to be a little wider than the rubber on the top. And if you're wondering why I'm trimming this, the reason is, have you ever caught an edge when you're stamping and it makes you crazy? Like crazy, crazy? Oh my gosh. Um, that is, it drives me batty. But I think this is such a great way to make sure your stamps are nice. And I even do this on... Um, on photopolymer sometimes, but it's not very often that I need to do it on photopolymer. It's mostly on the rubber. Back in the day, when I first started stamping, we had to cut out our stamps entirely. Like they came cut into squares and then we had to cut the images out. Have any of you guys been around for that long? Oh my gosh. That was funny. I know Kayleen has. Um, this is a pair of scissors that, yes, totally get sticky dub. What I use is either Goo Gun or rubbing alcohol every so often to get all of that gook off, and it works like a dream. Okay, so now that you've seen me do all that, let's put our card together quick. This is another one of those kind of stamp riffing. I, I wasn't entirely sure what I was going to do, but... You know, some of my best work comes that way, so we'll go with it. All right, I'm going to take and stamp my Enjoy in black. And I will just stamp it right here, like so. And then, ooh, I just thought of something else. You're too much of a coward. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, Sue, you will be a believer. Just try it. Okay. Okay. So I pulled out some scrap paper because, as we all know, I'm messy. And, um, Emily, what time is it? It is 
10.53. I can't stop. Oh, sorry. That was my boob. Here we go. I closed an ink pad immediately. I know it does happen once in a while. So I'm going to take my balloon celebration stamp set and I'm going to, ooh, let's see. I'm going to take one of the small stamps out of here and we're going to stamp it with the coordinating colors of ink or something similar anyway. Um, I think we want a little bit of color variation. So we'll do pool party and... How about, oh, I think I'm going to actually do pink pirouette. I don't want the colors to be quite as dark as the colors of the glimmer paper, because of course we're highlighting the glimmer paper. All right. That is silly. Come on, Sue. I challenge you. You got to get those scissors out and go to town. I do, though, need one more ink pad. All right. So I'm going to take and... um just to stamp a couple of balloons in the background and then I'm going to clean my stamp look how clean that is <laughs> and change color and stamp a few more back here do you guys ever watch me stamp and think oh my goodness where is she going with that <laughs> I wonder I did it again. I know. Look, I closed them again. I'm like, what did I do again? Something good. It must, it's clearly the illness taking over. Oh, Lord. Okay. So I've got my, um, now actually here's where I recommend, um, putting these on beforehand like arranging things beforehand so you can make sure they're going to look good because you never know but we're not done oh, look I got something on here where's my eraser okay remember let's see let's see if it's working is it erasing kind of I'm trying to erase my little smudgies. They're pretty light. It did make them lighter. You guys are probably like, I see nothing. Oh no, you can see something. There we go. Okay. Whew. All right. So I've got, um, I've got my things punched. You know, we do need some green in there though. So let us get a little mint macaron. I'm going to clean my stamp thoroughly before I use it. There we go. Ooh, look at how good that is. Oh my gosh, there's a hair under it. Goodness gracious. Does this stuff happen to you or is it just me? I mean, like, honestly. I think that was dog hair because my dang dog sheds like there is absolutely no tomorrow. Yesterday, we vacuumed and I seriously, five minutes later, was like, there's hair everywhere. Okay. There we go. Now... I'm going to pop this last one up too. So I've got my, my, um, balloons stamped and I'm going to pop these up and then I'm going to do a little drawing. Now I'm going to, oops, use the pointy end. Um, I'm going to draw them on because I think that's easier than trying to do the, gosh, I'm drawing terribly though. Ugh. I'm, I, I was thinking it would be easier than doing the stamping, but I could be wrong. I'm bad at it, so. Ooh. Oh, here. All right. Pooh, you have to go to work. Don't worry, the recording will be on. I've got one more awesome card to share. There we go. Okay. There's my cute card. Now, all we have to do is layer it up with some fun, happy colors, and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to take a Bermuda Bay pool card base because, of course, as you all well know, Bermuda Bay is the best color, color ever. Uh, I'm going to quick turn this really quick because I want to put it on black to really pop it up, punch it up, make it awesome. 
you know, there we go. And then we'll stick it on here. And don't worry, I have one more little thing. Um, do you guys ever neglect the inside of your cards? I feel like I do sometimes. So I think we should put something fun on the inside. Okay. We'll adhere that. And then we'll go on the inside of our card with some cardstock, of course. And we still have a couple of these punches, so let's use another one or two of those. And now, of course, all of my projects I will post on my blog. And don't forget to share the video. In fact, we're going to do a drawing here in just a minute. Okay. Um, but don't forget to share the video to be entered into a drawing for my goodies. Not sure what I'm going to give away this week, but something. And there, that's what strings are supposed to look like. So that's the inside of the card. It's fun. <gasps> Yay. Do you like that? Hi, Tammy. So again, don't forget to comment, of course. Comment, share the video, and place your order. I could really use your order since I've been so sick. I, my sales are down. It's terrible. Okay, so there you go. Isn't that fun? All right. Now, here's our last card. It's super crazy awesome. I saved the best for last. But before I do the last card, let's quick do the drawing, don't you think? I've got some good stuff. So my sweet Emily is so awesome. She's been taking care of all the drawing, the names on drawing, the names for the drawing. And ooh, look at there are a whole bunch in here. All right. So let us draw a couple names. So the first, oops, that didn't count. The first name is for a package of doilies. I will send these out to you. By the way, if I draw your name um, and you're not one of my regular customers, will you give me your address? Because that would just so make it easier. Julie McMillan, I know your address, Julie. You get some doilies. All right. Next is for the penned and painted stamp set. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Sorry. Okay. So the next person, now these are all from last week. That way you have time to do this. Uh, Jeannie Garner. Yay. Good for you, Jeannie. Or is it Janine? I bet it's Janine. I apologize. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I know your address too, though. Okay, now here is the grand prize, the Stitched Shapes Framelits. Okay, are you ready? Does anyone else enjoy the scrap paper I've worked on and hate to throw it away? Yes. Totally. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. This is for the big one. Janet Shepard. All right, Janet. Janet, I don't think I have your address, so you're going to need to let me know your address. Janet Shepard. Yay! Okay, those we'll have more prizes for next week. So make sure you get entered again. Share my video on Facebook with your friends. Make a comment in the thread here. You can tell me what you like or don't like, or you can place an order. And oh my gosh, I just did I lose it? No, it's right here. Okay, it's all good. All right, all right. Ooh, someone just said they live in Canada. Who said that? Okay. Janet Shepard. Dang it, Janet! You can't live in Canada? That's okay. I will mail it to you in Canada, but you need to message me your address, okay, Janet? All right. Now, here is my the stuff for my next card. We're going to do a little watercoloring because the world is much better when there's a little watercoloring in it. Now for this, I'm going to take my uh, aqua painter and a couple of colors. So I am going to use, um, we have pool party, so let's use pool party. And then I'm gonna use a little Bermuda and some Pacific Point 
and Tempting Turquoise. So we have a lovely, lovely shades of aqua because do what you love and you know I love this. So, okay. So I'm going to throw this out there. Um, and you guys are very welcome for the prizes. I am happy to share with you when I can. So... All right, now what I have done is I've started by getting my paper wet. And the reason I do that is because um, wet paper makes colors blend. And <laughs> you know you enjoy it. Well, there's nothing better than watercoloring in my humble opinion. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the color. And you can see I'm just putting it on here. The lightest color, <clears throat> which is pool party, I'm going to do a little more. I got a, a little fuzzy that happens sometimes. Um, every so often I color or I, um, you didn't like the mafia funeral card. I can't even, that was like one of my most prized works ever. Well, maybe not. It was my most hilarious video forever until we started talking about 50 shades last week, but, um, or two weeks ago, but <laughs> Okay, sorry. I had to stop everything when she said that. I like that card. There's something not quite right about it, but I still like the card. <laughs> okay, uh, so now I'm adding um, Bermuda Bay. And we'll just do that. I'm going to get my burp rag for cleaning purposes. So I like to clean in between. Look at that, you guys. One pad open, one pad closed. All right, here is Tempting Turquoise. Blah, blah, blah. Do you guys ever get into a color rut? This happens with me sometimes where I get a little crazy and I can't, I can't get out of the color rut. Um, yes, I am using watercolor paper, Chrissy. Watercolor paper is key to this. If you were doing this on Whisper White, you would have a disaster on your hands. So... Okay, you can see though that these colors have all kind of melded together quite nicely. Um, if you need a little more melding, you can drop some water on there and you get fun effects. Um, and that just helps mix up the colors. You don't want them to be too, um, you don't want them to be completely the same though. You want there to be brights and darks and highs and lows and whatnot. You can also swirl the color around if you want. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good looking background for now. We're gonna look at all these closed ink pads, people. Aren't you proud of me? That's kind of wrong in my world, but... Oh my gosh, I love watercolor wishes. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I was talking about my ink pads before I switched gears. Um, so the ink pads, what I was saying about the lid is sometimes um, if you leave your pads open for long periods of time, <laughs> like you know I might, um, I get lint in them. And then you can pick up that lint in your in your thing. Yes, I was exactly going to say that, Alex. I clean it out with a wet wipe because sometimes it gets linty in here. Um, this one's not so bad because uh, I think I cleaned this one out not too long ago. Well, actually, there was an ink incident in here. You can either um, squeeze the ink pad to the lid and then you get the color in there that way, or you can drip re-inker in here. Now, it's a you don't want to drip too much reinker in here because the second you not you um, tip it, <laughs> the ink will will leak. And let's just say that occasionally uh, things have gone horribly wrong. <laughs> so that's what's happening. But um, they, you can see, I have still have stuff that's coming out of this one. So you want to be careful with that. On the lighter colors, it's not that big a deal, but on this dark Pacific point, it is a bit of a deal. Thank you, Janet. I saw that come through. Okay. So now I dried this because it's nice and dry. You don't want to do anything on here if it is wet. But what I'm going to do is take what I believe to be one of my favorite new stamp sets. And that is, um, 
and I've talked about this one before. Now this is one of the online classes that I have coming. I just made a disaster over here because this was all stacked up nice. It is no longer. <laughs> Special reason. Oh my gosh. So when I first saw this set, I thought, oh, it's okay. But um, I have made some unbelievable things with this set and I do have my class. It is going out this week. Um, it is a little late. I'm not going to tell you. But the cards I made for this are pretty amazing. And I, I'll give you one preview. I don't normally do a preview, but I'll give you one preview. Here's a preview of one of the cards from class. Oh, isn't that amazing? Okay. So um, here is, but we're going to make this card. Okay. Oh my gosh. Watercolor backgrounds in the dragonfly dreams. It's like, it's like, that's why the world was invented <laughs> was just for that. Oh, I did not tell you something though. Poopers. I need the centers of these two flowers. Do you still have them? Do you think? Oh yeah. So Emily, my amazing assistant die cut these for me, but I want to keep the centers and let me show you why. So I'm going to show you the card cause I don't, I, I wanted to impress you, but it's too late. <laughs> I kept the centers to these flowers so that I could adhere them popped up on my card. Um, but it helps that I didn't, I didn't tell Emily that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> All right. So anyway, this is my card that we're going to finish, but I made my little background as you can see, and then I'm popping these up. So I cut these with silver glimmer paper. Now to do that, what you're going to do is cut the outline, the detail image first, and then the outline second. So you have to run it through twice, but, oh, yay. This is why you save your scraps. Okay. This is one big one. Do the okay. small one. Probably. Okay. Emily's so awesome. She's looking for the small one. Here's the size. Okay. Okay. So let me show you how this go, this fits right in here. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to put a dimensional on the back. I'm really sorry, guys. I feel like today is just a little bit of a um, ADD stamping <laughs> situation because I um, really have ADD right now. <laughs> Yay, she found it. Oh, my gosh. Is she not the best? Seriously, guys, if I didn't have an Emily, oh, dear, bad things would happen. Okay, so now I'm going to cut... A little smaller piece of dimensional so it'll fit on this smaller flower but I'm I'm saving that center piece to make it easy to adhere to my card okay so see that awesome all right now I've got glitter everywhere I mean I have glitter on me for a week now that I did this but it's okay so I'll just place these on here like that. And then this solves, of course, the age old question of how do you adhere these kind of see through die cuts, but isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. Yes, Judy, you need an Emily. I'm, if you can get one, I highly recommend them. They are awesome. I seriously, uh, we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for that. Um, okay. So... I'm cutting some black and white baker's twine, which is one of my favorites because it goes with like everything. So just to recap, we have used watercolor paper. We have created a wet on wet watercolor wash background. We used four colors. Oh, you totally have to. It's amazing. It is like amazing, amazing. It's like crazy amazing. You think it's an okay set. You're like, yeah, it's all right, nothing too special. But then you see what it can do and you're like, oh, I'm like the kid from Home Alone who smacks, see, you can't see my face. I smack my cheeks with my hands because I think it's so amazing. He is do doing it because of the after shave. All right, now I'm also going to do this. I'm curling my ends of my... Um, Baker's twine, and that gets the kinks out from it being on the card, but it, oops, it sometimes unties the bow, I'm not going to lie, but it also curls the ends like curling ribbon, you know, like Christmas, so it's just pretty, because, you know, I like to make pretty cards. I told you I saved the best for last, because this is the one I kind of had ready and planned out. Okay. 
There we go. Now we're going to add a little greeting. Um, I have happy birthday. Let's see if I can find it because I just upset the... Oh, here it is. I'm serious. I had a perfectly organized stack of stamps and then I messed it up. Now I'm going to use black on this one. I regretted the fact that I put uh, Pacific Point on that one just because I really wanted it to be darker. And since it's darker in this corner, I think black will be helpful. Um, oh, Kayleen, you know who taught me that is Liz. She taught me to curl it there. Don't you think that's better with the black? And then it ties in with the ribbon and everything is happy. Okay. Now to finish this up, I'm going to adhere it to my layers of cardstock that I know I have somewhere. Okay. So this is just like a little preview for... The awesomeness that you'll make in my online class with the stamp set. So I highly recommend you take it. You can register for it on my blog right now. And in fact, I actually just posted my day in the creativity cave, which will be in two weeks here locally. You can also order. She did it with her fingernails. She told me she did it with a bone folder. That Liz, she's a stinker. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is one of the amazing online classes I have. I also have Dragonfly Dreams coming out and then Oh So Succulent. So there's all kinds of stuff. There's lots of stuff on my blog, though, so check it out. Um, and then I did just mention I have to do more shameless plugging. So my day in a cr the Creativity Cave, I know several of you on here have gotten it, Um it is a full day's worth of stamping, a goodie bag full of great, fabulous, wonderful treasures and uh, amazing projects. Each can includes a written and a video tutorial, so you won't want to miss that. The registration is going up and I'll be posting more on my blog, but it's on the online classes page as of today, so check that out. Isn't that pretty? Do you guys like it? What do you think? Thank you. Your black pad keeps on drying out and needs constant re-inking. Is it this black that you're using, Sue? Um, I know if you leave a, open a black, um, if you leave a black stays on pad open, it'll dry out in no time flat. Um, I don't have that problem and I leave these things open all the time. I mean, this is not normal. It's, it's usually open on my... Um, it's open on my desk all the time and it does not dry out very fast. I don't know what to say, Sue. I would call Stampin' Up! about it. So maybe they can help you. But don't worry if you're too far. You totally can get a class to go. Um, I have kits to go for my all-day event and my other online classes. So you can totally do that. <laughs> you can't stop laughing. <laughs> all right. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, don't forget to order with this host code. I'll post this on my blog as well as on the um, Facebook page that you're on watching this right now. And then I will also post pictures of this. Enjoy. You can totally order my all day for out of town. Um, the kits to go are on my blog, so you can totally do it. You'll get everything that everybody else gets except lunch. And I think you might probably understand why I don't send you lunch because that's gross. It would not work out. Anyway, um, I hope that you guys have a fabulous week and come on back next week. I will be here. And thank you again for joining me. See you later, guys. Bye.